people, uh, colleagues, I guess you could say, had done something to me. So I, I didn't really sabotage it. I took their wheel nuts off and put their hubcaps back on. Mm. Uh, and when they tried to drive away, they didn't go very far, did they? But they lost a wheel because it rolled down and went in a river. So that was yeah. Beecham. Yeah. And you once posed as Barry Sheen in a qualifying session. Uh, yeah, uh, I did. But that was, again, me being um, charitable. He had got a real problem where one of the screws in his knee had loose and he had to rush off to go to see an osteopath to get it fixed up. So they snuck him off out the, out the paddock. It was Mallory Park. And um, I put his leathers and helmets on, helmet on because he needed to qualify. And if he wasn't there, he couldn't qualify. And he didn't want to be at the back of the grid. So I went out and did four laps on his bike came back, changed into my gear and did about 20 laps. And can you believe I went and qualified him faster than me? What an idiot. <laughs> he was well pleased when he got back. He was on the front row and I was on the second row and I've ah. only done five laps on his bike. So he owes part of his world championship to you. Yeah. A um, t- couple more things. I've got three, uh, two more, I think. Um, you, you own an ambulance and have you, you've been seeing you taking the ambulance to the bank and parking with on the yellow lines with the doors open. Yep, I have, yeah. I know you shouldn't, but... Um, I, I like that. You have to. Um, yeah. I've also been Cambridge, uh, not recently, but this, a few years ago, I, uh, with the hearse. I had a hearse, and we used to park that in the pedestrian area, really, in Cambridge. <laughs> Leave the back up open on that. Never got a parking ticket for that either. Yeah, and you mentioned... Hey, it's early... all things in the past, you see. You can't get me for it now. No, me? that's fine. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to nail you for it. I think it's just good fun. I, I love the idea of this. I, I, oh, I just, yeah. As long as I'm not on the end of any of this, so it's all right. Um, and you mentioned earlier on that the um, you, you, you uh, used to own a fire engine, or you still own a fire engine, and you once hosed down the inside of a, your, your mate's pub. Yeah, we did. But he, I forget where he'd done something to me. People start these things off, and then I have to finish them. But we did. We... We hosed his pub out one day, and it did cause a lot more of a mess because of all the foam and everything else than than, uh, was expected. We also got uh, another colleague of mine, a guy called Hugh Chamberlain, who um, used to run sports cars, Le Mans sports cars, on his 50th birthday. He didn't invite us to a lovely black tie event he had at his house, um, not far from Bishop Storford, funnily enough, and um, he didn't invite us, and so we turned up there with a fire engine, and we had a friend that went who let off a smoke bomb, so we went charging in with our fire engine and absolutely drenched everyone. It had to, you had to be there, but there was lovely ladies in their long black gowns and everything trying to escape the water by running towards the house, and we were taking them out with a fire hose like, it, like you do at a fairground, you know. It's quite funny, actually. Mm. It, did, it did put a bit of a damper on the evening, I must admit. Yeah. So, anyhow, we're almost out of time, so let's quickly go through where pe- with this, this gig where people can see you, or this show where people can see you. It's called The Mad Tour with Steve Parrish. It's uh, the, the well, they call it the Rhodes Arts, Rhodes, Rhodes Theatre now, Rhodes, Rhodes Bishop Stortford, and um, it's on Friday the 19th of February at 7.30, and they can see you there, and you're going to be, as you say, you have your long-suffering daughter with you on stage. Yep. And I will, yep. If they want any more well, information... Sure she, she, she kind of interviews me, I guess you'd say, but lots of pictures, lots of video clips of stuff that's gone on. Fortunately, we work with BBC. I've managed to collate a lot of the stuff. Not all about me, but just about the times of my life, racing motorcycles, and the trouble that we sort of got into. Some of it's serious. Some of it's a great deal of fun. And, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone leave that theatre without a few tears in their eyes of, of laughter and sadness and everything else. But... If you're a petrol head, then it's one not to be missed. And we're actually, we kick off on the 5th of February down at Burnham on Sea. Then we go up to Lancaster, we've got Maidenhead, Ivy Bridge in Plymouth, we go to Clacton, we go to Bury St Edmunds, uh, Hun Stanton, we're all over the place. The, yeah, you can get your Great details. Place. Yeah, you can get the details on a, a website. It's uh, www.madtour.co.uk. And they can also find out a little bit more about you at, uh, it's quite an easy one, this one. It's uh, www.steveparishracing.com. I say the tour. There's a lot of lot of uh, people have given great reviews, including people like Vic Reeves, who said the man is mad but very funny. Love the stories, the pranks. Even I'd be proud of them. Uh, and and that, that from Vic Reeves, that is a great testament. And El Steve, it's been an absolute pleasure today. Uh, absolute pleasure. Lovely talking to you. And um, like I say, yeah, come and join us 19th of February at Bishop Stortford. Bishop Stortford. And uh, we'll catch up. Don't sit too near the front. You might get something thrown at you. You never know. You never know. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. 
So Monday's happened, I'm sure you've had a great day. More likely you've realised your team are about as useful as a chocolate tea set. But never mind about that. Tune in 8 till 10 every Monday for the Mayo and Vickers show for a night of comedy, laughter and tears. No tears. There might be some tears. Less of that. <laughs> but either way, we're going to bring in local talent, comedy music from the Milton Keynes area. So tune in. 8 till 10 every Monday. Set close sounds. Community radio for Milton Keynes. Well, that was details of a show tonight. You can listen to the Mayo and Vickers show um, here on Seclo Sounds. Anyhow, um, almost time for the event section of the show. So get yourself a pen and paper as we've got loads to go through today. But uh, before I do the events, let's play this song. I say the band are called Racing Cars and they shoe horses, don't they? That was racing cars and they shoot horses. Don't worry, keeping in the, the racing and car and motor uh, sort of uh, theme today. And let's go through the events. I hope you got your pen and paper uh, handy. Uh, taking place in London at the uh, London's XL, 20th and 21st of February, we've got London Super Comic Convention. I say that's at the London XL. Uh, details there, www.londonsupercomicconvention.com. That's uh, on the 20th and 21st. Uh, then uh, let's do the, the local theatre uh, over at the MK Theatre 
This week we've got David Walliams' Gangster Granny, a great for the kids and the big kids. That's uh, from the 9th to the 13th of February. Uh, that's Gangster Granny. And then uh, on the 14th of February for Valentine's Day, we've got Catherine Ryan, the, uh, the Canadian comic. Uh, she's doing her show, Kath Bum. She's absolutely amazing. I don't know if there's any tickets left for that, but if there are, they're few and far between. She is a sensational act. Uh, so if you want tickets for that at the Milton Keynes Theatre, atgtickets.com backslash Milton Keynes or 0844-871-7652. Then we go to the stables. Uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday, the Dublin Legends are there. They're a fabulous band. They're part of the Dubliners, and uh, they've got together and, and play some great music. I've had her, Eamon was, has been on the show about a year ago. And then on uh, Thursday, uh, the, thir- the 11th, Fair Cup. Fairport convention there but sadly it's sold out and then on the 12th the Travelling Wilbys tribute show and sadly that's sold out and then Sunday the 14th the show you can go and see the Temperance 7 uh, they're there on Sunday the 14th if you want tickets for the stables uh, it's uh, www.stables.org or you can call 01908 280 800 and then down at the Auburn Arena there's the St Albans Gang Show I used to love that in fact I was in the gang show uh, on stage at the Harlow Playhouse uh, when I was a young lad oh, a few years ago now that's on from, well it's already started runs right through to the 13th that's at the Auburn Arena in St Albans uh, www.auburn-arena.co.uk or tickets 01727 Eight triple four double eight, and then down at Harpenden, the lady I had on the show last week, the Harpenden Public Halls, Chantel McGregor. What a lovely lady she was! What a great musician! Uh, she's there this Friday, the twelfth of February. Uh, and if you want tickets for that, it's Harpenden Public Halls dot co dot uk, and then um, or the box office is zero one five eight two. 767525. And then, if you love a bit of comedy, who doesn't like comedy? Okay, we all love comedy. We've got a charity comedy night. It's in Stevenage. Top in the bill is a young man called Philip Simon. He's last minute comedian uh, of the year 2015, winner of the last minute Vic Comedian of the Year, finest in comedy nights, uh, fresh new comedian 2014. And on the bill with him is a young lady from America. She's going to be late home that night. Robin Perkins. I've seen both of them. They are sensational. That's down at the Forum in Stevenage. She's above the Ibis Hotel, right opposite Tesco's. And that's Wednesday, the 24th of February. It's a charity night in aid of the. Uh, Brompton Fountains Children's Charity and uh, to book your tickets there's three ways you can do it you can call 0794 104 5536 that's 0794 104 5536 or 0779 548172 or you can pop into the Ibis Hotel on reception they have tickets there the cost well £10 in advance and £12 on the night doors open at 7 show starts at 8 o'clock a great double bill I'm going to be there I'm comparing so you're in for a treat there well maybe not and you know that's all the events I've got this week uh, if you'd like me to mention your event on the show next week or in a future week all you need to do is send me an email it's the sticks at seclosounds.org uh, look forward to getting that and also if you'd like me to play any music uh, for yourselves we've got Valentine's Day although my show is on Monday Valentine's Day is on Sunday Sunday. So I hope you're all organised, gents. And of course, ladies, this year you can propose to your man as it's leap year. Anyhow, well, let's keep going with the, the the musical theme tune. And this is a song I remember buying going into Woolworths. Yeah, and I brought a single. For those of you who are not that, not that old, Woolworths used to be a great record shop, or a great shop, and singles were something on vinyl you used to be able to get years and years ago. And uh, this was, I think, middle 80s, this would have been early 80s, like, no, actually, probably late 70s. The band were called Motors, and this is Airport. <laughs> Gateway to take my love away. And I can't believe. 